So my friend Amanda Hutchison and I are doing this interesting mile a day outside challenge. Starting in January this year, we agreed to walk at least one mile outside every single day in 2023. So 365 days. And we are currently on day 123. So yay to us. And yes, we are committed. And honestly, it's been pretty easy. I'm training for a mini marathon. So I'm outside running a lot anyways. So it's not the mile that's been a challenge. It's getting outside every single day, rain or shine, whatever, what's going on. And I've had several days that were challenging because of weather and busyness and a lot of things and my full life. But I've had two days that I had to be really crafty to get my mile in. One day in late January, I was at the Tampa airport literally all day. So I had to find a way to get out of the airport and walk around to get that mile in. And then there was a day last week that I was literally booked solid from 7 a.m., leaving my house at like 6.15, booked solid from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I had to be crafty. And as I looked at my day, I decided I'm going to maximize my walks to two of my meetings. So one of my meetings was on Butler's campus. I was speaking to a group of students at Butler University so rather than walking straight from the parking garage to the building I was speaking in, I just walked around campus a bit as much as I could and not be late. And then later in the day, I was meeting someone for coffee and I par parked a few blocks from the coffee shop and literally walked up and down the street in front of the coffee shop <laughs> until my Strava app hit one mile exactly. And I was only a couple of minutes late to the meeting. So I had to be strategic and a bit creative, but by golly, I got that mile in that day. So here's the leadership lesson in this story. We all have a lot going on, and we make time for what we feel is important to us. If you haven't made time for it, it's probably because you haven't convinced yourself that it's important enough. I am committed to this challenge, and I have an accountability partner, Amanda, so I'm going to make it happen. So what about for you? Are you making time for those things that are most important to you? And how do you see what's really important to you based on how you do spend your time? It's a great reflection question and helps you to make choices that serve you well. What a great way to take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>